Hey beautiful, I hope you are keeping safe and well. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For those who I haven't met before, I'm Emma Ride, a psychic medium and divine channeler, and this is the Taurus weekly read. Please bear in mind that all of my readings are timeless and you will find the guidance that is right for you when you need to hear it, whether that is today, next week, next month. Trust in that divine timing and what resonates with your heart. Okay, so we're going to use the Lightseer's Tarot for the beginning of your reading, okay? And then when we move on to the extended reading, we're going to use Mystic Monday's Tarot and some Oracle cards. I've got loads of spirit playing with my nose now. Um, so the extended reading link is below if you're interested. Okay, so first off, Taurus, there is a lot of spirit around you. It's very important to know you're not on your own. It's very important to know that you're being looked after and supported with whatever situation you're finding yourself in at the moment. Trust and allow your loved ones in spirit, allow the angels to support you. It is not a sign of weakness to allow yourself to be supported. It's polar opposites. It's a sign of strength and allowing your life to be easier. Let that support in. Okay, feels very important to tell you that, so I'm going to tell you that. And for those of you that have signs of from spirit, pay attention to the tickling and the playing with the hair. When you get that, pay attention to what you're thinking about because they are supporting you, they're supporting your decisions or you're on the right track. Pay attention to those thoughts, it feels really important. Okay, so Taurus. What's the energy doing this week for you? Oh. Why do they always fall so far? And the cards that do fall out, because they seem to do that when I'm recording, I do actually use those cards in your reading, so that, I, that it's not like I am paying attention to spirit too. Okay. So... Well, interesting cards. We have the Four of Cups and the Emperor. Okay. And does she, I feel like the Four of Cups is you and you're longingly waiting for... I want to say love coming in because the Emperor card, look how they're... Yes, they're sat and they're looking... But they, they feel... It feels very much like you're matching each other's energies there. And you're both doing too much overthinking. You're both longing for each other. You're both waiting. You both feel the same. It feels very mutual. This relationship, this connection which is coming which is going on. Okay, let's get some more information for you. You both look pretty glum without each other, I have to say. Then we've got the Magician card. So it feels very much like, yes, you're both sat waiting. Yes, you're both feeling a bit glum. But then all of a sudden, things are changing. Fast, quick changes knowing that I want to say your thoughts are creating your reality. So when you're doing this overthinking, make sure you're trusting in this connection because you both feel the same and know that things are going to change very quickly and your thoughts are creating that reality. Okay, definitely. There's this quick change going on. Okay. Um... We then have the Nine of Wands card. And there's like the element of what is holding you back? What is holding you back from moving forwards towards your person? I feel like, let's have a look at their energy, but I feel like what is holding you back is really important.
And then we've got the Nine of Swords. I feel like these cards are for both of you because I feel like you're mirroring each other and I feel like you're both very much in the same energy. Because what is holding you back from being with each other? You're both being felt, feel like you're being held behind that fence, you're being pushed backwards. And there's sorrow in your past, there's sadness in your past which is holding you both back. And it feels like the past, look at the crows at the top, the past is like haunting you in a way. The past is haunting you and creating sadness in the now still. Your past, your it's, it's too much in the now. It's time to let go of this past, which will, will remove that fence which is holding you back. Because that fence is your past. Then we have the Six of Swords. And what I want to say to you is, your past is not pulling your strings anymore and it is time to cut that free. It is time to break free from the past because that is not the person you are or your situation you are in. It is time to break free from that past. It's time to cut the ties. It's time to stop allowing the past to influence how you're acting in the now. Because the past is still pulling your strings. And that makes you feel sad and that makes you feel frustrated. But you can overcome that. We've got so many nines in this reading. We're in September as well. Nine, nine, nine. And nine, nine, nine is the angel number. We've got three nines here. We've got nine of wands, nine of swords and nine of pentacles. And 999 is pay attention to what is happening now because new beginnings are coming, which is a good summary for the cards which are out because we've started about this glumness. We've got the magician, which is fast changes. And then we've got why the glumness and what is holding you back. As soon as you realise to the extent how much the past is holding you back, that is when you are going to focus and let it go properly. Because you don't want it to influence you anymore. And it's time to really make those changes and stop it influencing you. Because you want to be in that triumph energy, that reaching for the stars energy. And that is what the energy you are going to feel, the relief energy, as soon as you cut ties with the past. And that could be because somebody's still physically in your life, or it could be because they've still got a massive energetic influence over you, okay? Then we've got the Ten of Swords which is that completion card, which is that moving forwards card. And you are fully looking forwards to your future and forgetting about the past. You have cut those ties, which ends that cycle and gives your next chapter, your next book, your next cycle, the energy it needs. Because you are looking towards the sunlight, you are looking towards the horizons, which is exactly where you're heading. And then we've got the Ten of Pentacles. Because you are at the end of this cycle, you are properly breaking free and going through this breakthrough. It's massive and it's going to be a very celebratory relief energy 
which will bring quick changes and stop this energy which is holding you back. It is all coming together. It's quite exciting. I know it's not easy to let go of this past energy, but it's so, so very important and is going to be so, so very worthwhile. Okay, beautiful people, this is where I'm going to head over to the extended reading and get you some more information and clarification about this reading. If this is where you leave me, thank you so very much for joining me. Please do like and comment on the video if you feel drawn. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. I truly do appreciate each and every single person supporting the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please do take care, stay safe, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Namaste. Bye.